Hi, I'm Christy Simpson, and this is Noah Simpson, my soon-to-be eighth-grade son. Mm -hmm. And today's question is: What are some good icebreaker activities and games to start off your rehearsal? Well, our first rehearsal is tomorrow. Ooh. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. So this is going to be Noah's last year in my choir because we go up to eighth grade. He's a great member of the choir. Um, so I need to think about some icebreaker activities. You know, I normally don't do a whole lot of icebreakers, do I? You really don't. I really don't. We just kind of jump right in, um, doing some choreography imitation. I get them moving. I say, mirror me. We do some step touches, anything to get them going. However, if you have the time, I think it's a great idea to do. Uh, one thing you can do to help the kids learn each other's names in a fun way is get the kids in a circle and tell them they're going to say their name and they're going to have a describing word in front of it that has a movement with it. So I might say, jumping Jeff. Jeff would say that. I wouldn't say that. And so they would jump, right? And what would you say? Is the key. Alliteration is the key. Very nice. What would you do? Nimrod Noah, okay. except it has to be positive. Good. <laughs> so you would not do Nimrod Noah. <laughs> so you tell them, make it a positive thing so they're not dissing themselves. What would you do? Nintendo Noah. Nintendo Noah. Thank you, folks. So he would be pretending to play a video game. Then the person next to him would do Jumping Jeff, Nintendo Noah, Creative Christy. And then the next person would say Jumping Jeff, Nintendo Noah, Creative Christy, and so and so. So um, you see how it builds, in, and they'll always remember each other's names, and it's also... Frail Felix. Frail Felix. No, no, no. It's not negative. <laughs> you see, as you can see, you may need to really um, encourage them to have positive words. I'm just a practical joker, guys. Yes. Well, I'm sure every choir has some practical jokers in it. Um, another thing that our choir in San Diego used to like to do is we played the game 40, which is really just a counting game, but it's, for some reason it's extremely stressful and the kids really enjoy it. So all you have to do is tell the kids they're going to say one number, but they can't say it at the same time as somebody else. And you go count. all the way up to a 40. Right. So if we started the game. One. Two. Three. Three. Okay, now if we accidentally said three at the same time, that's bad. Then the whole team loses and you have to start over again. So the key and is And we to, both get eliminated. And we both, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. The people that said three at the same time are out. So kids love this game. I myself find it quite stressful, but everybody loves it. It's the game 40. So you try to count all the way up to 40. Even if you get to 39 and two people say 39, they're out and the game starts over at one. So good luck at your starting rehearsals. I can't wait to hear how everything's going. Please let me know. Good luck getting the 40.